agency. Which case would you like to solve? Please... Welcome, detectives. This is a big case. Let's check in with Mickey. Don't worry, we'll get right on it. Oh boy, am I glad you're here. Because we've got one doozy of a case. You just won't believe it, but... Paintings are being stolen right here on the ship. <laughs> yeah, Goofy, I know. Are there any suspects? Seven of them. And the ship's really big. Well, I think we're going to need some help. No problem. Check out our new detectives. They're going to help us crack this case. Uh -huh. I just know it. <laughs> detectives, we need to catch that criminal and find those stolen paintings. And that means you're going to have to search all around the ship. Susan, our detective trainer, will teach you how. You will use a high-tech detective badge. This is an amazing all-in-one tool that you'll use to solve the case. Your team will share one badge. To use it, you will need to face the black and white pattern towards the center of the screen while holding it from the bottom. Make sure your fingers don't cover the pattern and keep the badge straight up and down. You will also need to stand on the mark. First, we'll need to activate your badge. Pick up one badge and stand on the mark. Now, hold up your badge with the black and white pattern facing the screen. Remember four things. Stand on the mark. Hold up the badge. Don't cover the pattern. Keep the badge straight up. Well done. Now move your badge until it matches exactly with the outline. Keep your badge straight up and down. Now move your badge until it matches up completely. Good job. This badge number is now registered to your team. Now, let's practice. Move the magnifying glass until you find the key. Great work! Your badge can be used in different ways. You might need to rotate something slowly. Or, some things might need to be pushed. And if it starts to look like this, and you hear this noise, it means your badge isn't straight up and down. So make sure you're holding it correctly. We will be giving you a case book. It contains a collection of our top suspects with information on each one. Read this over carefully. When you uncover clues, write them down so you can cross off suspects as you go. When only one is left, that suspect must be our criminal. The casebook also has a map where witnesses have reported suspicious activity. At each place, you'll find a piece of art. Hold up your badge toward the art and a secret place will be revealed. Search carefully for clues or stolen paintings. Now, pick up your casebook and pencil. Then, go to the locations on your map in any order. They're all set, Mickey. Well, that about does it. You've got everything you need to crack this case and find those missing paintings. Good luck! Hold your badge a little farther back from the artwork. like a scorecard from Kimmy Golf. This must be a clue. 
the names are smudged, but look at that, every name has the letter A in it. So that means the criminal must have a letter A in their name. Check your case book. Why don't you write that down? Hit the button, boy. We're going up. Now, hmm, maybe there's something behind that panel. I know. Use your power screwdriver to find out. badge a bit closer toward the artwork. I wonder if there's something in there that could help us. Move your magnifying glass around and let's talk. Wow! According to the newspaper, Cruella's not even on the ship. Great discovery, detectives! This means we can take Cruella off the suspect list. Keep up the good work. slowly. say they saw something fishy around here. <laughs> Try leaving the fish out. It's mustache wax. Great work. Now, how would that narrow down our list? going on here. Someone's been messing with those crates. I know. 
Use your laser to burn the ropes and let's see what's inside. Look, sand and a gold coin. That's a clue. Come on, write it down and keep going. Gosh, we can't see through that window. Good thing you're in squeegee mode. <laughs> You know what to do. Hold your badge straight up and down. Hey, Goofy! Is that a painting? <laughs> you found another one! Good job, Whoa. detectives! Gosh, with all these paintings we've collected, I think we're getting close. <laughs> Keep going! Magnet over the metal objects and search for a clue. A button with a skull and a red thread. Let's think. What villain would have this kind of thing? Better mark it in your casebook. Wow! You sure found a lot of clues. Who do you think committed the crime? to the next location to identify the criminal. lots of clues. Now who do you think committed the crime? Just pick a photo and drag it into the box on the search warrant. Okay, we can check their stateroom. Use the key card and let's see if you're right. A painting in the suspect's room. Great deduction. You figured out who committed the crime. And look at this security footage. The criminal's trying to escape. Quick, go to this location on your map and let's catch that criminal. Come back and help us. Hey. 